Today's lesson is about receiving. In the previous lessons, we already put, uh, explained about the purchase orders. We put purchase orders into the system, and today we're going to show how to receive those ones. You go to the inventory section, and there's the section receiving. Once you go there, right away it pulls up the items that are have been purchased orders and that are basically in, in the status of being to uh, receive. We'll click on the first one. We'll say that equipment was a purchase order that we did, uh, quantity 10. Uh, we got a uh, delivery and the packing slip sets purchase order 3032. We verified everything that we have 10 of those equipments in there. So we can say receive full or partial. It's just a button and we'll open up a new uh, item. By default, it says now receiving zero. There's two options of two ways to uh, put in there how to get it. The easiest way is to say auto public, public now receiving. And what it will do, it will automatically enter there the 10 of the one that's the same one that you had also as a ordered item. But if you only receive five, you can change the five here as well. And that way it's uh, done. Once you have uh, enabled the right amount here, you press save and close. It will pop up with a little dialogue where you have a question if you need to update the unit cost in your product list. And you can just press OK. And now, as you can see, this one is removed from your receiving items list. I'm gonna also going to receive this particular switch. And if there's a whole bunch of line items too, you have also the option to receive them by, uh, by checking them all. Usually, you only receive them by a particular purchase order. But if you have a whole bunch of items on a purchase order number, uh, you can either way select by the purchase order number and then select this box to check them all. So there's a couple of handy ways to select. Again, also I want to point you out, you have the column chooser here. So if these columns don't work for you, uh, you have the column chooser and you might be able to select a couple of more items that are easier for you to process and to find the orders that you want. I want to process this switch. And the reason why I want to see if the indeed the serial number is indeed uh, on this one. And exactly it is here. So that's what I wanted to show you. So for the switch, I enabled that it needs to have a serial number. First, I'm going to say we only uh, ordered one. We also have received one. So I'm going to say auto receiving. Now, it's now receiving one. I'm not going to change the unit cost. But now I'm not going to change or edit the serial number. I'm going to see what the system would do if we would press save and close. And here, now you already say, hey, uh, the quantity entered in a now receiving field must match the number of serial numbers entered. Since we didn't enter any serial number, of course, it won't comply. So we have to press OK. And now we have to say add or edit. It will pull up a little screen and we have to type in a serial number. Let's put a bogus serial number in here. And now since the system has a serial number of this particular switch, I'm going to press save and close right now. Now this item is being uh, put into an inventory. It also asks again for uh, if we want to update the unit cost in our product list. In this case, we can say yes, because we have a new, a better price. And we we'll press OK. And my receiving list is now empty. And now in the next lesson, I will show you how to Use that serial number when you want to deliver or ship it. Thank you. If you have any questions, post it on our private Facebook group.